Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy you're here to chat with me again today. If you are new here, we I am a homeschooling mom of four. They are ages, um, they're all about to have birthdays. So they're about to be 14, um, 10, seven, and five. On this channel, I like to talk to you guys mostly about secular homeschooling, but I also share our lives with you, talk to you a little bit about motherhood, having a larger family, and traveling, and everything in between. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll stick around. Today's video is going to be video one in my three-part series of our curriculum picks for the 2024-2025 school year. You guys, I cannot believe this, but it is going to be our 10th year of homeschooling. I cannot believe that we will be homeschooling for a decade after this year is over. So, um, but this year we will have a ninth grader, a fifth grader, a first grader, and a kindergartner. And so this series, over the course of this week, I'm going to be sharing my curriculum picks with you. Um, now, I want to preface this by saying at any point I can change my mind about something and, and pick something out, but at this current moment, this is what I plan to use this is what I'm prepping for the new school year and so I wanted to share that with you guys if you guys have any questions about any of these or why I chose these um, I do have some videos there's a I'm gonna post a playlist probably I think it's on the side um, I'm gonna post a playlist that I is my planning for the 2024 2025 school year so a lot I talk about a lot of this stuff and why I made these choices and all of that in that playlist these videos will be in that playlist as well um, but if you have any questions I'm happy to answer them down in the comments while you're down there I hope you would subscribe to this channel ring that notification and give this video a thumbs up and let's dive in to this video is going to be for ninth grade All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna go subject by subject and tell you what we're planning to use and semi why I chose it. I don't wanna make this video too long, so it's not gonna be like super in depth. I've talked about each of these. I will continue to talk about these. Some of these will get their own dedicated video sometime in the near future. Um, and then once we start using them in August, I will definitely share our experience with them as we go along. So let's get started. We're gonna start with math. And math, We I've decided to use Denison Math algebra one. Um, I did a help me choose video. I'll link it here for math. And I just, this has been recommended so many times. My daughter is a reluctant math learner at this point, which is crazy because she left math was her favorite subject when we started. Um, but I think that this Denison math is going to be the best option for us. So we are going to give it a shot. Um, I, uh, I'm hoping that it's gonna work well for us, but that is what we we're gonna have chosen to do for, what well, I have chosen. I tried to give her a choice, she said no to everything, so that's what I have chosen. Um, I have had this book, the um, every the Complete High School Study Guide for Everything You Need to Ace Pre-Algebra and Algebra One in One Big Fat Notebook. So I have this book. We've been actually currently using this book as our um, math because she didn't like the Khan Academy, um, which, it, I think she just doesn't like anything, <laughs> which is uh, the point that I'm getting to. But I did pick up the uh, workbook that goes along with it. Um, I'm going to do a review on this later, but this is something that we're going to have in our back pocket. So if there's something in the Denison program that she maybe is struggling with or um, doesn't quite understand or just needs more practice, that's something I'm going to be able to pull out and let her practice with as well. So those are the two things that we're going to kind of be using. The Denison is going to be our main program and then we'll pick that up whenever we need it. All right, let's switch over to um, English language arts. As you know, this is kind of like an umbrella for several different different things that we that you need to cover um, I took a moment she's gonna be in high school this is gonna be her ninth grade year so I took a moment to kind of go over and see what the requirements would be for like an English one course or what what needed to be covered and the main subjects were um, writing literature um, Oh, I thought I was looking at my notes, but I'm looking at the wrong notes. So give me just a second. So writing, literature, poetry, vocabulary, and grammar. Um, so we are going to be, um, I'm going to kind of talk to you about what we're going to do for each one of those. So um, let's start with writing because that's just the first thing I have on my list here. I 
I'm still not a hundred percent sure and it's probably just gonna be me paid deciding to do all of these things and seeing what works um, but we already have um, layers of learning writer workshop and we haven't really gotten that far into this yet so I'm going to be pulling things from here um, I haven't pulled enough to give you like a solid review on it but I'm hoping over the summer that we're gonna get to some of these and I can give you a better review so if that works if that's working for us then we'll just keep using that but there are two other ones that um, we have been using Brave Writer in our homeschool for a number of years several years now um, and we do like it and we we've done the jot it down and we've done the next one and then um, we didn't I bought building confidence and then we didn't actually ever get to it um, so uh, we kind of haven't been using brave writer for writing for a hot minute um, but I know that we've used the program in the past and then the next one after building confidence is um, partnership writing was that one that I've got jot it down partnership writing building confidence we didn't we've used the first two we not, didn't use the third one but the next one is help for high school and it's written to the student so it would be something that would be like directed to her which I think it would be something that would be valuable information like she needs to start learning how to learn independently if she's gonna now if you haven't been around and you don't know we we are telling our children they can choose whether or not they go to college they can either go to college or they can go to a, a vocational school um, or they can start their own business or whatever they want to do and we will support them in that so but where our plan is to prepare them to go to college so that if they decide to go they're not behind the bar in any way shape or form so um she i kind of lost my train of thought she needs to learn how to be an independent learner um so that is like i kind of like the idea of using that so i'm probably gonna pick that up because it's 80 dollars, which is is kind of a lot but it's help for high school so it's like for junior or freshman and sophomore year um so it's like you know it's it can be used for longer and then I have other kids that I can use it with so I'm probably going to be picking that up as well um and then the other one is right by numbers I am I've heard good and bad and good and mixed reviews I shouldn't say bad I haven't heard any bad reviews but good and and then like mixed reviews about this program but they have an online um re, like it's an online subscription and it's only five dollars a month and you get two weeks for free. So I'm thinking I'm going to give that one a shot as well. And so I know that's a lot of writing things, but writing is something we kind of just haven't covered very much in our homeschool. And it's kind of going to be the focus of our year. Um, and so I know that's a lot. And I don't think that I'll use all the pieces at the same time. Um, but I do feel like I might try a little bit of each of it and see what works the best and then move on from there. So that is writing. Um, let's talk about literature. I'm, we're going to be using Brave Writer literature singles. We've been using them for a while. They We know how they work. They work great for us. Um, I don't, you know, I wish they were a little bit more like structured um, because I need the structure, not necessarily her, but I need the structure when I'm teaching it. But, it, you know, we know how to use it at this point. It's going well. There is the potential that we could try some other literature guides. But most likely, I'm kind of stuck in my ways at this point. Um, we'll probably just be using the Brave Writer literature guides for our literature studies. <laughs> Poetry. Spoiler alert, I'm still working on this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use. I don't know if I'm going to pick up the Michael Clay Thompson poetry portion and use that with her or if I'm just going to wing it or what we're going to do. But we'll cover poetry somehow, some way. And when I do figure that out, I'll let you guys know. For vocabulary, we're going to be using the Critical Thinking Detective. Um, we're going to use the Critical Thinking Detective books and then the vocabulary books. Um, and so that is my plan for that. I'll, I'll post a couple of pictures here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. I think she's going to enjoy them because she likes like mystery. Um, and so I think those are going to work really well for us. So that's what we'll be using for vocabulary. And then grammar. Um, I have the next level of fix a grammar for her, but I promised her a little bit of a break from that. The literature guides from Brave Writer um, that we're using for literature also cover grammar. So I think that's going to be enough because she has a pretty good understanding of grammar and how it works and all of that. Um, and so I do have some like resource books that I might pull for her. Um, like we have the Big Fat Notebook literature and I, I have another one, Nitty Gritty Grammar. I'll post a picture here. That's what Brave Writer recommends. So I may make her like pull those out every once in a while and go over a concept or something. Um, but I think what they cover in the the literature guides are going to be just fine because um, she she 
has a pretty good grasp of grammar. If we start doing writing and I feel like her grammar is, you know, not up to par, then maybe we'll reevaluate. Like I said, I do have the next one of Fix-It Grammar. But so far, that is our plan for English 1 that she will be doing. Next up, science. We will be doing biology, and we are going to be using CK12's interactive textbook online. Um, I'm going to share more about this later on, but I, I hit a little bit of it um, when I did my Help Me Choose um, science program um, or video. And so that, I'm pretty sure, is what we are going to be using along with the um lab book that I picked up. I'll put a picture here for you guys. So that is my plan for that. I'm still working on like exactly how that's going to go and when I decide I know I will share that with you guys. Okay for history we are going to be using the world history project which is like the high school level of the big history project which we used this year. I may still use some of the big history project stuff because we didn't finish it but I'm going to be using the world history projects origin to present along with curiosity Chronicles. So Curiosity Chronicles is written for a younger age um, group, but I think she will enjoy the activities. She still very much enjoys learning through activities, um, and she like, still likes Minecraft, and that there's Minecraft lessons in here, or with this this unit and so I think we're still going to use this along with our world history project to you know kind of make it a little bit more engaging and fun for her because she gets kind of bored with just like computer work or just reading um, and so I want to still keep it kind of exciting for her to, to have the best learning opportunity so we'll be using those hand in hand I do have the history quest um, book that we do listen to the chapters while we're doing other work so um, that that is part of it too but it's not really well, I'm not really using that program per se um, but we will be reading that book as well okay so those are our main subjects that's like what what her daily assignments are gonna be um, are those those subjects that she's gonna cover uh, and then we do have electives that she's gonna cover this year she's gonna take a digital art um, class with our Florida virtual school um, and then she's gonna pick the piano back up she used to play the piano and um, she's ready to to return to that so she's going to pick piano back up and she's going to be doing French 1 and I'm pretty sure we'll be using Rosetta Stone for that um, and if I change that you know that one I'm still not 100% on but I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to be doing so she'll be doing that as well. Um, I do plan a couple of things that I do plan on using that is just like added resources is that she will be using this um, everything you need to know to to ace biology notebook in addition to the other notebook or the other textbook um, just to kind of like re-solidify her learning um, and kind of you know I just love those books I think they're really a great useful toy a uh, toy and <laughs> tool we do have this story of science textbook and I have the build your libraries um, story of science like um, guide and so we didn't get as far into that as I had hoped we may or may not like don't hold me to it we may or may not continue on with that um, but I do that is a resource that I have that I wanted to make sure I shared here with you guys um, and then just for some added language arts like extra resources we will be continuing to use um, sequential spelling for her spelling um, and uh, word roots. So word roots is, is Latin, but also vocabulary. So that's that's two things that we'll be using to kind of like round round out her um, schooling for the year. We will be continuing to use um, philosophy for kids and woven melodies. I forgot to pull it out, so I'll put a picture here for you guys um, as family subjects. Uh, and we may or may not do some literature studies. I, well, I think we're gonna do the literature studies. I just don't know if she's coming along for Winnie the Pooh and Beatrix Potter um, because I did plan some of that out and we didn't get to it last year. So those are things that she could additionally do, but those are things that I'm not necessarily like counting on. Her main things for her transcripts are going to be math, English 1, biology, um, history, and um, her electives, which are digital art, piano, and French 1. So that's going to be like the core of her 
her learning and then anything else is just going to be a bonus. So that is what we're going to be doing for our ninth grade year. I'm going to be using Homeschool Planet um, because it is going to do my planning for me, my grading. It's going to keep my grading for me and it's going to write a transcript for me when we're all done. This is something that I'm going to share in more detail with you guys in an upcoming video. I'm super excited about that. Um, so I will share that process along with you. It's time to get serious. This is ninth grade. This is where we start keeping much detailed, more detailed records because if she does plan to go to high school, she's going to need a, a, a transcript or not high school, college. If she does plan to go to college, she's gonna need a high school transcript. And so things are gonna to need to get a little bit more serious. We're gonna to need to make sure we're a little bit more on top of things. Um, and I want to focus on doing a little bit more independent learning for her this coming year. So I will bring you along as I set all this up and get all this ready for our new school year. If there's anything that you specifically wanna hear about, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure I get that video on my um, schedule for you guys so that you I can share it with you uh, if there's anything else you have questions about or any ninth grade curriculum that you've used that you've enjoyed that maybe somebody else would like as well please let me know down in the comments I hope you will come back and chat with me again real soon don't forget to check us out over on homeschoolology or on Instagram at homeschoolology and I'll talk to you guys again later bye